Gail Thomas has agreed to share with us her thoughts and her process about the quilt that she has here in the show. Gail, tell us, how did you get started on this? What was your inspiration? The inspiration was the Texas theme this year. Oh, lovely. Okay. And a friend of mine, Melinda, told me you I should do some research on the children that were kidnapped by the Comanche in, 18, in the 1800s. Mm -hmm. So I did, and this is Cynthia Ann Parker, mm -hmm. and she was kidnapped at the age of nine. And she was kidnapped and lived with the Comanches for 24 years. Mm -hmm. And so it says the story, she came from Irish, Scottish descent. Mm -hmm. And then it's just the contrast between the two cultures. Right. So she's looking over sort of her life as an Aborigine, where her husband is hunting the buffalo. Mm -hmm. her, her horses are across the river. And this is her firstborn, who is the greatest Comanche chief, considered the greatest Comanche chief. And his name was? Um, it's on there. I can't pronounce it properly. Oh, okay, so we'll take a close-up of that, and yeah. people can figure yeah. out how to pronounce it, yeah. or somebody can tell it. Someone told me properly, and okay. I have, I'm not great with names. So okay, so what most people want to know, when you start with a theme like that, does it? do you then go to your drawing board? Do you sketch? Do you go to your computer and draw on your computer? Or you just leap into the fabric and start cutting? Just about leaping, but the, all around the outside was done with patterns that I designed. And ah. I created... 10 panels and they were depicting tradition right so it's the tradition two traditions and the contrast between both traditions so the tradition of the Scottish the tradition of the Comanche that's right and how it came together in this young woman that's right wonderful so when you start with that kind of a concept do you then immediately go to fabric or how, how is it it starts on say a piece of paper mm -hmm. and then I do the you know the idea I just sort of do a few lines mm -hmm. then I started doing the panels mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. doing those separately then I pieced it all together and this is Ricky Tim's fabric in the center here and then I started drawing this is my daughter as the model because uh. she reminded me of Cynthia Cynthia, uh. Cynthia Lee Parker she she looks a little bit like her how lovely so I had her standing and she's just mm -hmm. you know sort of looking over the life she had exactly. as a Comanche mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and then later Later on, they re-kidnapped her. The, the whites did brought her back to her family, mm -hmm. and they made her stay there. She lost two, uh, lost her daughter after that. Oh, this is and, too sad. Yeah, and there's, it's a sad story. But this is this is her life mm -hmm. before that. Right. Realizing, you know, there is a contrast between the two. Interesting. And she was totally accepted by the Comanche and lived with them and was quite happy. Right. That was her family. That was her family. Right. Right. Yeah. Well, you've done a wonderful depiction of it, and now that I know the story, I'm going to have to go and find a tissue for sure. Okay. You. Did did such a great job. Oh, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So good. Thank you so much Thanks for sharing. Thank you very much. I'm Sharon Peterson from Nine Patch Media for The Quilt Show.